This video is brought to you by Nate Productions. So you want to learn how to make a flat paper game? Easy. So the first thing that you need to create is a project that is a 2D project and this is what you'll get. So an empty, ga an empty game, essentially an empty project. And what we're going to be needing to do is, well, the flat paper game is essentially a bird jumping through pipes. So we'll first need to create a player that will be jumping through the pipes. That's just going to be a circle, and this will be our player, and set this to player. And we, uh, the game also has pipes, so I'll make the pipes as well. So these will be just squares, and they won't be looking too fancy to be honest. Just some simple squares for uh, this tutorial, it won't be too, uh, fancy. And I'll just leave this maybe. 6 and 6 minus 6 on the y axis. So this will be the gap that the player will need to jump through. I'll change the color to green just to uh, be closer to the game because the game is uh, has green pipes. And I'll have these two squares under the uh, game object that is called pipe. And we'll be spawning this in our game every one second, for example and they will be moving towards the player. So something like this. The player will need to jump through this and avoid being collided with that. So let's make first our player script. So we'll need a script that will handle jumping for our player. And once this compiles, I will go to our circle here and add first a collider. So a circle collider and also a rigid body 2D. And I just realized I need to add some square colliders to a box collider. Sorry, to this. This needs to be a 2D. And now let's go to our jump script that we just created. We need to get a reference of the rigid body that we have added on our layer. So I'll just call this RB. I'll get component rigid body 2D. And then in our update, I will be checking uh, from the input class if the key get key down, and this will be the space key. So whenever the space is pressed, we need to uh, jump essentially. This will be our button for jumping. And whenever the space is pressed, we're going to be adding some uh, velocity to our rigid body on the y axis so keeping the x axis unaffected and adding 10 to our y axis so this will be essentially a very simple jump and that's done that is how you jump and i forgot to include the new uh, next to the vector 2 okay so now we have jumping going on we need to make our pipes move towards the player. You might think this is odd and you'll expect the player going towards this, the pipes instead, but uh, it's a bit more uh, of a simpler way to do it. If you want to do it, uh, the player moving towards the pipes, you can do that too, but you will need to also move the camera and the spawner you haven't created yet. But yeah, it's a bit more simple way and I thought it will be more of a better tutorial if you included the most simple way I thought of. So uh, I just created a resources folder in my assets and I will drag and drop the pipe that I'd created in, in there and create essentially a prefab of this. And we can utilize this from our script. So I'll create a new script. This will be pipe spawner. And this will be responsible for spawning the pipes every one second. And so let's open this up and we want to get essentially the pipe that we just created the prefab from our asset folder this will be game object pipe prefab and then in our start function i will be populating this using the resources load which allows us to load resources from the resources folder in our project 
and we'll be loading the pipe so i've named it pipe so i will load pipe and the type of this is game object and this will populate this uh here and we'll need a timer as well which is a float and this will essentially uh say when it's time to spawn and the timer will be set every update to be reduced by the time dot delta time so uh the time between each frame and if the timer is less than zero it's time to spawn a new prefab so instantiate high prefab at the transform position and we don't want any rotation uh, so identity this specifies that i don't want any rotation we're spawning this pipe onto the transform position of the uh, game object that we haven't really created yet i will do that right now and when we spawn this new pipe i want to reset the timer to one so resetting the timer to one and it will need to get reduced to zero again using the uh, time or delta time in order to spawn again. So this will be spawning one pipe per one second. So going to our project, the last thing that we need to do is just make the pipes move. So, and of course, create the game object for spawning the pipes. So I will just push it towards the side, maybe here. Because uh, you, you can see if I open this up, see that uh, the hammer here is stretching essentially. So I will have it somewhere there. I will call this pipe spawner. And I mistyped this spawner. Okay. So I will attach the pipe spawner script that we created onto here. And the last thing that we need to do is having a new script. This will be pipe movement and this will just move the pipe towards the left side and okay so so in our update function here we're going to be changing the position of the uh, pipe to be equal to the current position uh, adding in the vector 3 dot left multiplied by let's say 10 with this should be a speed variable or something like that and multiplied by time dot delta time so this will keep your game consistent throughout uh, different devices and essentially what happens here is we're getting the transfer position and we're adding some uh, number on the x-axis move towards the left side and just to save this and go back to this um let's run this and see the result that we get i forgot to add the jump to our player so i will do that now okay so let's test everything out that we've done thus far okay so you can see that i'm able to jump and quite slowly to be honest so i will be maybe increasing the gravity scale to three so it would be dropping uh faster actually and so let's see what we get okay so you can see that our pipes are spawning as you would expect but they're not being randomized so they're spawning on one place so in order to change that let's go to this here and create a new vector 3 called position and this will be the transform position uh and adding in the uh some essentially randomization which is going to be from random dot range from minus three to plus three and this will essentially change the y-axis include some uh randomization okay so going back here we should be first of all let me just check how this looks so the square is my three and so they're not being on the center 
I will just set this to 6 and 6 minus 6 sorry and also reset the position on the X and Z so they are being spawned on the center so let's run this and see the result that we get and as you can see I'm able to jump and you can see the uh, randomization going on so the, sp uh, the pipes are spawned uh, on different levels that is what you want and yeah this is essentially uh, the end of the video I would suggest turning off the uh, rotation here for uh, your rigid body so it doesn't rotate and also you can maybe add some uh, death function to your game so maybe here so I will just be calling the uh, private void on collision enter 2d and passing the parameter in what you want to do here is essentially just set the time dot time scale to zero and you will freeze the game essentially that is all you are going to be doing there is of course a lot of uh, modification that you can add to the game maybe you can add some score to this maybe you can uh, i don't know improve the ui and the looks of the game uh, but uh, this is just a simple demonstration tutorial of what you can do you can see when i collide with something boom it freezes the game instantly so thank you for watching and i'll see you during the next time goodbye want to become a professional game developer i designed the ultimate game development course that will teach you everything you need to make your own top quality games with over 20 hours of content and 100 lectures at your disposal make sure to check the link in the description for more information